Today I'm putting up this wind turbine. Wind turbines are very easy to set up and companies like Missouri Wind and Solar send you kits uh, for just a few hundred dollars whereby you can have a lot of power, potential power I should say, uh, in a very small amount of turbine size. So we're installing this 1700 watt turbine today. It'll be our second wind turbine uh, to, to complete a two wind turbine set of 1700 watts each. Um, these turbines will, the advantage being they run at night um, and they will help to supplement your solar and make it so you need to turn that generator on a lot less. So it took me about half a day and we got this wind turbine uh, just about ready to put up on a pole and uh, try her out and see if that helps with uh, the, the electricity that we need during times when the sun is just not there. Having two turbines helps a lot with redundancy. If the wind's blowing crosswise and there's a structure or something in the way, one turbine might be able to pick up the wind that the other couldn't. Or if they're both working together, they will work in tandem to help push more amperage into your batteries, into your uh, water heater or anything else. This wind turbine is simply too close to the structure next to it and it's being obstructed. Wind turbines should be built preferably upon a hill. They should be built with the tallest pole possible and you should consider the dangers of high wind and lightning when approaching the, your wind turbine construction. Extreme wind is dangerous and having the proper cement in place for your the base of your pole and the proper gauge of pole as well as guide wires supporting the, the project will make sure that wind doesn't knock down your turbine. Another danger of, nat of nature is lightning. Lightning is just dangerous so make sure you have an electrician address the problem by installing something like a lightning rod. Lightning can be offset with a lightning rod installed by a professional electrician. Wind can be offset by cementing the proper depth of your pole and reinforcing with guide wires. Making sure to always have a healthy respect for nature will ensure that you are in the clear when it comes to installing these potentially dangerous but extremely powerful tools of nature's harvesting. This particular wind turbine is set up to go through the battery and a fuse. It's also set up to go through a uh, rectifier which pushes all the AC current of the turbine into DC. That way the batteries can absorb it in a way that communicates to them. Extra layer of safety when you're off grid that also happens to be very practical is what's called a heat dump. A heat dump takes all the extra energy from your batteries and converts it into heat. This is a water heat dump. There's also air heat dumps and other forms of heat dumps, but the practicality of them remains the same. They take that extra energy and convert it safely to something useful like hot water. This vessel is a little too small for what we're doing now, so we're going to upgrade it this week to a 55 gallon, uh, but the concept remains the same. We've got our DC heating element, which heats the water, and water stores a lot of heat energy, so we can use it for work, or we can use it, of course, for heat or heating water. All right, we got one built and two built. That makes two 1700 watt wind turbines to give us plenty of power, especially at night.